Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Um, thank you for watching my, oh my goodness, the wave. It turned out pretty cool, just, it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I still love the idea with painting like a sunset or something in behind, because I don't like it just white. But it was fun, it was something different. Um, today, we're gonna do another sort of Dutch pour kind of thing. I have purchased these. I'm going to show them to you. These came in a kit and I've had these for almost a year. I have been wanting to do <laughs> something. I have done other galaxy pours. Um, if I can, I'm pretty sure they're videos. I will link them if I can find them, but they were basically, um, just like a, almost like an angel wing pour, and it turned out to be a galaxy for me. So anyway, so today we're gonna do um, an inspired by my fellow Canadian, Olga. We are um, gonna use these and we're gonna do a galaxy. So I'm excited because like I said, I've had these for a year. This has been in my brain for a little while. And I've been watching her, um, series this couple weeks ago so that's kind of cool so i'm gonna make three planets on my canvas and yeah so we're i've got it all together we're just gonna get right down and into it so i'm gonna bring you down and show you what i got guys so i had these because they were on sale these are the um 10 by 20 inch canvases from Michaels and these ones were black so I thought well that is one way to start already going so I thought I'd do three planets these would be the colors in the one would be the oranges and the reds oh I didn't get a bright red so the orange red and yellow this one's going to be like the the pink the purple and the green and then this one's going to be like like um earth it's going to be the blues and the white let me go and grab a red. Give me one second. It is right here, my friends. But I find my red. Oh, here we go. There we go. There's a red. All right. So we'll go through the colors when I do them. But I figured these would be the three planet colors. And like I said, this is a 10 by 20 inch canvas. I have it taped, push pinned. And we're good to go. And this set I bought off of Amazon. I'll have to look way back because like I said, it's been about a year since I've had them. So I decided we're gonna do the big one. We will do the little one. And then we will do kind of like that is what I'm thinking. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I had a chalk pen, but I can't find it. But I do have chalk, which is right in front of me. And I'm just going to chalk around. Actually, probably should have done it on the inside because the chalk isn't quite... It's, it's, it's more than what I want, but if I can stay inside those lines, that would be good. And this is just an estimate. All right. So we'll take these off. Set them here. So I'm so excited. I'm trying to get a bunch of... <laughs> I'm hoping to get a bunch of videos done because... Um, as I'd mentioned, I'm getting my um, my hand on surgery and it's tomorrow. So I'm trying to get as much as I can done today. So I'm thinking that I really want oh, this these colors to be the big one, if you can see them, the blues. So we're going to do 
the pinks, the little ones. So this is Peblio Studio Iridescent Mauve Blue. And I'm just throwing some color in there. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. This is um, Apple Barrel. This is Lime Tree. I have my Liquid X Basics Deoxine Purple with Iridescent Medium. Doesn't want to work, so I'm going to have to open it. Woo! Oh my. That's what you get. So let me put a little bit more of this pink on top. So I don't want to lose the pink. And I had the Persian, um, Grumbrocker's Persian Blue. And that's a lot of paint in there. So that's the one we will do. The next one is the red one. So we're going to have this is Grumbrocker's Alzarian Crimson. We will have Pebio Studios Iridescent Orange Yellow. We will have Pebio Studios Light Azo Yellow with Iridescent Medium. And we will have, this one is Pebio Studios Transparent Vermilion with Iridescent Medium. So I don't know, this one might not. And again, there's a lot of paint in there. I might be regretting that. We didn't use this one, so I'm going to set that one aside. And then for this one, I have my Grumbrocker's Thalo Blue. And this is all my Dutch Pour Mix, which I will link in the description. This one is um, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And again, if you're not getting the colors, I will have them listed in the description box. And because it's me, I'm going to, I pulled out my glam dust. This is um, Deco Art Glam Dust. This one's Turquoise Sparkle. It's basically clear with glitter in it, which is very cool. And you know what? I'm going to put some more blue in. This one is um, Modern Masters Metallic Venetian Blue. And then I'm going to throw in my flash. This is Folk Art Color Shifting White Flash. Perfect. Now I hope I don't goof it up. So that's one. I'm going to get these two colors out of here as well so I don't mix up so I can tell you amazing people what I used. I'm going to get my torch out. Just a quick little torch. I've got my nice new blow dryer and let's play around here guys turned out cool they look nice okay so I'm gonna place these back on make sure I put it the right way I capture some of that beauty beautifulness This one's so pretty in a couple different spots. Let me bring my torch in. And 
and see what comes May. I'm thinking we're gonna just go like that. Okay, so now I am going to take, this is my silicone spatula, and I'm gonna hold on to this guy. And I'm actually gonna try and wipe it all off. a lot there. Actually, let's go this way. Make sure you hold it so it don't shift on you. So that's basically all of that gone. Let me just one more little swoop around this edge. Perfect. Now this guy, let's get this all. And I know Olga uses um, oh, boards as opposed to canvases. I find that she's, so I'm finding this is sagging a little bit. So to prevent that, you could put um, cardboard inside of your canvas while you're doing this aspect of it. Oh my goodness, I don't know where to put my hand. There we go. And our blue. busy day oh my goodness I've, I've opted so I'm doing this is so funny and I'm not complaining please don't ever think I'm complaining it's just it's just in my nature I can't just sit so I am because our trailer opens my husband lives there basically and it opens and everything is ready to go so we're this afternoon we're going to put our tip outs out and all that fun stuff so I thought I'd get this part done before I went. <laughs> so that is that. Now, I am using my Artist Flow Acrylic Black. I have mixed it. These are all in my Dutch Pour Mix. I've mixed it in my Dutch Pour Mix, and that's what's in this bottle. Now, we're going to gently go. I want to make sure I get all my goopies out of my lid so they don't go on me on there. So I'm going to gently... Come around all of these. Goodness, battery died. Hello, welcome to Sherry's channel where nothing ever goes right. And here we go. We're gonna put the black around here. I wanna make sure it's good right there because there's not much room. And then we're gonna take our blow dryer and blow the black out. I would prefer, I don't know if this is the way to do it or not, but 
I think it would make sense to do it around each planet and then go around. All right. I might need more down here, I think. Now, I'm going to put you on pause for one minute because there's one color I want to get that I can put into the background. So give me one second. Okay, I have it. So it is art. Oh my goodness. You guys are falling. Here, give me. <laughs> Every time I try to do something quick, nothing ever turns out. Give me a minute, guys. Too funny. There's a little um, casing that sits, holds my camera to put it in the stand and it wasn't on tight enough. So you were starting to go, Woo! a little wonky so anyways this is what some Pebbleo studio iridescent blue black I'm gonna throw this in some spots and we'll see how it turns out as we blow it out here we go wish me luck my friends Now, I don't know if you can see that color that's in there. That is freaking amazing. I'm going to put a little more here and then blow. There's so much paint here, guys. Okay, here, we'll do it again. Just a little streak here. I think I've blown it all off, so that's cool. I don't know if you can see that. That looks freaking amazing. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, Dutch pour mix. When I used to do this with my um, paintings, I used to use a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, and you flick it. Um, because everybody I see is doing it with the paintbrush. Give me a minute. I'm going to go grab my old toothbrush. Just a second. Okay, I have an old toothbrush. I'm going to put some paint. 
I'm just doing my Dutch pour mix. This is my white. Oh. Putting it in this little container. You do not need a lot. And it can be messy, guys. Take your toothbrush. Put it in there. Give it a shake. And then do this. Hi. Flick. We used to do this for... And the closer you get... There, I think that's done. Oh my goodness. I am excited, guys. Now, the hard part, the part that I'm afraid to do. I'm gonna put my blow dryer down here in my box. All right. I'm gonna make room so I can set them just over to the side. <sighs> Time of truth. This is why I was blow drying most of it off because I did not want it to um, have a puddles of paint so that when I lifted, I'm going to take my finger and just scrape off the edge. And I probably should have had gloves, but you know how Sherry works. Okay. Straight up guys. Awesome. Ah! OMG. Okay, here we go. Straight up. Have I told you I'm excited? Oh my goodness. I guess this one's little, but we'll still do the two-handed and up. And then when this dries, we're going to come back and I will um, paint, you know, black around just to make sure... All right, guys, I'll bring you down for a quickie close-up before it dries. I am just, you know, when a plan comes together, it's kind of scary. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause, and I'll bring you down, and then we're going to let this dry. I'll be back, guys. Oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness. This turned out so cool. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. And you see what I mean about the that iridescent black blue blue black how it gives that just that little bit of color um a nice deep purpley would have been nice as well but i think for my first planet inspired i was going to make these with skins and cut them out with skins and all that fun stuff but this is so much easier guys don't be intimidated it is not as hard as it looks now the hard part is waiting for it to dry so i'll be back when it's dry and i'll show you how i do my little touch-ups around and then we'll probably put a coat of resin on it because it looks beautiful i'll see you in a bit guys bye hello i am back and this is dry that's going to be so cool once we get some resin on that now with my um my goodness planets my brain just totally left me with the planets i think again i had way too much paint so as it was drying it spread which that's fine it came over the edge that's fine so what i did because you're gonna touch up the anyways, I'm just hoping it covers with one coat. Probably not, knowing me. So I've taken the cookie cutters. I don't know if you can see. I have drawn with just a black fine tip Sharpie where I want my planets to come back. So there's this one. Now these ones I used a big one, but it, it sunk. So it's kind of weird. One of them sunk and I can't remember which one I used. So I just went in with the small and I, I drew a line on each one. So with that, I am just going to paint it with the Dutch pour mix. So I'm going to pour it in one of these little cups. Hopefully we can do it. 
and I am just using a, um, <clears throat> this one is a, a number six flat brush, just, just a little old brush. And we are going to hopefully see if this works. I'm going to start this way because I like to put my hand on it, so it's better to start at the top. And it looks like we will be doing a couple of coats. Oh my goodness, Sherry. I'm almost tempted because that's so dark. I'm just going to put a little bit of paint, like actual paint. <clears throat> I just don't want to do seven layers because that's what's going to happen here. I know Olga says she does it with just her normal paint, but maybe I'll mix a little of this in there. So it's kind of watered down, but not extremely watered down. And I don't want to blend it with my brush. I'm going to grab a stick. I apologize guys this is now a Tuesday and I am just my hand bit me I tell you I had more done than what normally I have had done with the other ones so this one really hurt I was out of commission all right here we go guys lay it flat and come around And again, like I said, we're going to have to do a couple layers. And so you want to you don't want a definite line, but you want to make sure that the that's all covered. And because it's me, I have to flip it because you're in there. Yes, you are. I'm just going to do this and then come in and do the fine. And then we'll come back in and do a, um, a definite little sprinkle of stars again. And if this is not perfectly round, I, you know what, guys, not to worry. There, one coat. Looks a little better already. All right, let's get the orange one done. These colors, like that, um, Pebdio Studio, was it black? Yeah, blue-black. That is going to be stunning once we put um, some resin on top of this. So I'm just going to go crazy, crazy, do all the big outside. You probably could do this also. I'm thinking with a marker, but like a paint marker. You 
want to make that line, make it flat. Bring your brush flat down. Just make sure there's not a huge lot of paint so you don't have that line. So I'm just going to bring it this way just a tad so I can get this little spot. Perfect. That's starting to look a little better already, guys. And this one. This one went crazy over. I'm just going quick. where the big spots were and then come back in and do the same thing. Just going to touch up just a little bit there on the corner. And I'm going to come around. Still can't pick nothing up with my hand. <laughs> it's so hard. And I'm used to doing so many different things. I went and bought myself. Are you ready for this? Those <gasps> rubber gloves up to here <laughs> so I can do dishes. <laughs> oh, too funny. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to try and do the definite line. But you don't, you want to make sure that your paint, you don't leave an actual ridged line because that wouldn't be good. I'm just so disappointed, guys. I, I've got my resin thing packed up to send back. Ugh. I don't know. And it probably works for people. A hundred percent. Like, it wouldn't... There's a button on it that says... It's a quick cure. You don't need to do nothing. You're not supposed to adjust anything. If you read the directions... And when you hit that AI button, it supposedly was to set the program. And as it goes, it adjusts the heat. So the, the heat does change. So it, it said 98, I think, when I hit the button. But as I came down, it went up to the full heat. But it's just, I yeah, for the amount of money it was, I just, I could buy other things that I would use, so... Like I said, here in Canada, when I first bought it, it was $230 Canadian that I spent. So that can go to some other glitters, my friends. There we go. We're almost there. Brushing down where it was already done, just to get all, like I said, you don't want lines left. Just to even out the paint. Oh, sorry. That's 
good. Just kind of go to the edge here. All right, I'm going to keep going till it's fully covered and then I will bring you back just because I want to put a coat of resin on this as well with you guys. And so you can see what it will look like. This is probably going to take a couple coats over here. Yep, I'm going to have to let it dry. It's peeling off. So. You get the just, my friends. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. Okay, we're going to let this dry. I am going to completely just come back, do the exact same thing, guys, and cover it up so that it's black. When I come back, I will show you that it's dry. We will do another flick of the toothbrush just to give some more stars around where I painted. I probably will cover up these little things. And I'll be right back, guys. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I am back. I did basically two coats. It looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do before I let it completely dry, I'm going to put on my um, some of the stars around. So what I'm going to do is use this plate and use it as a barrier. Got my old toothbrush. My Dutch pour mix, I added a little bit more water to it because you want this runny. And I'm just going to go like this. Let's start this way. And we'll flick away just here. <gasps> oh no! Hence is why. Let's get the paper towel out. This is so funny. Oh, Sherry, 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 Sherry. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Welcome to my channel where nothing goes right. I had too much on there. Let me see if we can. There we go. believe there's too much there oh well it is what it is my friends just wanted to get kind of right around and this way There. I think that's it. That could be part of the galaxy. Oh my lord. Tell ya, nothing ever is easy for Sherry. Oh, you can really see that. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can take a Q-tip and kind of Even out the, I just try and lessen it and see if it works. Even if it's just getting those fine lines around the edge. Too funny, eh? Part for my course, I tell you guys. I'm gonna leave it because the more you play, the worse it'll get. I'm gonna hold it up and see if I can see it. Oh, anyways, with that, I'm gonna let it completely dry, and then we're gonna do a coat of resin, and that'll bring everything up. Hopefully, not that. <laughs> it'll bring everything up. <laughs> so with that, we're gonna let it dry completely, and I'll see you guys when it's resin time. We are back. This is dry. I, I just want to make sure that's not in the way. I tried to fix this 
Oh my goodness, guys, I tell you, I probably made more of a mess of it. So what I did is I watered this down. I kind of went over it. This is the Peblio. This is that beautiful um, blue black that's gonna show really nice once the resin comes on. But I thought I just kind of dragged a little couple lines through it. And my brain works some days, some days <laughs> don't. So I thought I would also mix a little bit of Laura's. This one is Twinkle, Twinkle Twinkle Holographic. And I thought I would purposely put it down and kind of follow the little lines that I drew. So hopefully that'll work. So <clears throat> with some difficulty, I mixed up four ounces of crystal resin, resin of choice. <clears throat> and I'm going to put a little bit in this cup, just enough to save for my little bit of glitter. Because I don't want a whole lot. Maybe a little more. So I have this on a um, a baking tray because I have purchased a um, baker's rack and I bought all the trays to go in it. I've done that a long time ago, and I thought I could put this on and slip it in my rack so that it could cure while I made another video because I want to get you guys all ready. So here we go. We're just gonna pour it on, my friends. Oh, hopefully it'll be nice. And you know what? That might not even show up as bad as I'm thinking it might. So just, I know with resin, it tends to, everything pops once you put it on. So and I am, when I like to do my um, top coats, with resin. I'm just going to get every little bit of this off there. I get right in there. So first of all, we're going to give it a torch, get rid of the bubbles that are in there, kind of heat up the resin a little bit. And then I'm just going to get in and just feel my way around and put it all on there. And you know what, guys? It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Awesome. You can see it, but not. And I think once we come in with that, I was going to put glitter in the whole thing. And I thought, mm. oh, it's hard to hold with my hand. Sorry, guys. So I'm just, I like using my hand because you can feel where the canvas is bare. Number one. And you get a nice, even coat. And you can manipulate the edging on it so that it's not sorry guys I'm trying to hold it with my hand and oh, it's quite the cut I got I don't know guys it, it was really funny he actually asked me if I wanted to see it and he literally moved out of the way <laughs> from doing my hand <laughs> so I could see what he was doing. It was kind of funny. It's nice when you have a nice rapport with your doctors because sometimes you don't have that. All right, let me just, that paper might've been more of a nuisance than it was any good. And you're all in there. Hopefully if you're not, not moving you out of the way. I just want to make sure I'm getting the edge as well. Like I said, I when you go in and do a resin calculator, um, the one from Art Resin, I think it is, it actually <laughs> tells you to do seven ounces for this little um, little guy. I just need to get. Forget how much you use both hands. I need to get a wet one here. Sorry guys. I just want to wipe off my hands so I can actually 
open up that glitter bottle because you know we can't have the glitter bottle all messy oh that looks cool and actually i like where i put those little strips of that blue what a difference okay i'm gonna heat this up get rid of the bubbles that are there Just keep on going like this. You don't have to worry. Just don't burn it. You don't have to worry about ruining your mold, but you want to make sure all the little bubbles are gone. Wow, that looks amazing. I'm actually glad I came back and put that blue on there because that just looks like a streak. So I've got my little wee, it's probably less than an ounce. I don't know where to put it. Um, I'm going to set it right here and you're probably not going to be able to see it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to get my twinkle twinkle out. And we're going to get a little stir stick. Oh, my goodness gracious, Sherry. And we're going to. Oh, it's hard. Sorry. I will not complain. I will not complain. <laughs> and I'm going to do one. Two, we'll do three good scoops on the end of my stir stick with like that is going to be pretty in there hopefully it focused it's cool all right give it a stir and then i'm just going to strategically place this in certain areas Done. Okay. So I'm going to definitely go down here. Start off. And we'll, and I'm going to get my heat gun out and blow it. Do I do? That's a bit thick, eh? Let's just try and do one little off the corner here. I was debating whether to just do the whole top with um, the glitter, but I think that's it. I don't want to put no more. I'm going to grab my heat gun. Hopefully it's still plugged in, and it is. And I'm just going to try and spread. I'm going to try and see if I can get this. So it's not a big old blob there. And we'll see if it'll spread. Here we go, guys.
that's good, my friends. I think that looks cool. Awesome. So it's spread out here. It's probably, ah, I wish I probably didn't put as thick of a coat. But, oh well. Hmm. Awesome. Now, of course, make sure I don't touch my heated. Oh, yeah. Already one humongous hair. That is hilarious. And I don't have long hair. But now's the time to get it out. bold spot there. I'm going to move that over there. So we try and get all of the little hair thingies off that I can see. Glitter. Awesome. Okay, so Got a couple little bald spots here. Oh my goodness. So that's hilarious. I didn't want resin on there and look at that. It's all over it. I just seen another one. No, nope, that's glitter. Right here. And I think I might bring the heat gun back out for one more little blow over here so I can um, kind of fill up that little bit that looks like a bald spot there. Here we go. <laughs> and try and do a little scrape off of the resin and try and put it on the where I see if there's blobs and then my drips won't be so bad at the end to take off when I take the tape off awesome I'm excited. All right, guys, we are going to let this cure up overnight, and I will be back tomorrow to show you how this looks. I'm excited. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Sorry, losing the button. Oh, my goodness, guys. This turned out so pretty. I am so impressed. I love how that turned out. I love that streaks of glitter. It just adds that little extra something, something. Well, there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I apologize for not having one on Sunday, but hopefully I'm back to it with my hand. It still really, really hurts, but we're back on the mend. So anyways, if you have not yet subscribed to Sherry's channel, Please think about subscribing. I hope you um, liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that bell in there for notifications on my next video. And with that, um, everything that I used here today will be listed in the description box. And um, I also have the links to um, where to purchase Fundy Molds with a discount code. I also have the links to <clears throat> where to purchase tri art liquid glass. I also have the links to where to purchase crystal resin, which we used here today. I also have the links to <clears throat> Let's Resin with a discount code of Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I also have the links to 
my two amazing Larez distributors, um, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Um, my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And last but not least, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my American Larez distributor, my glitter guru. Uh, my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And with that, I have the link to my um, PayPal if you choose to donate and help support my channel. With that, my amazing people, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Bye, guys. Here's a close-up. I know it's a little dark, but I thought it would be pretty. There you go. Bye, guys.